everybody, and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix, and once again, I am joined with one of my lovely co-hosts, my good old friend, Minho. Hello. Yep, good to have you back, man. I missed you last week. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. We didn't, we didn't get a lot of uh, food from this dumpster. Yeah. Yeah, we had to, we had to just call it a night that night. <laughs> we were starving. Yeah. Unfortunate. Yeah. But luckily, we're at the, we're in the back of this Harris Teeter where they have like those free cookies and samples on weekends. So we, yeah, and we, we get to read a new uh, new fanfic. Someone dropped their Kung Fu Panda fanfic. It actually is just the DVD, and we opened it up, and there was a fan fiction printed out. <laughs> <laughs> they're advertising. Yeah, they're like you know, on the bottom. It was like read my book, <laughs> buy on Etsy. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, because of Minho's bad life decisions, uh, we put Kung Fu Panda on the wheel. Bad. And lo and behold, yeah, it's bad. And lo and behold, uh, we landed on it. I blame you for this. <laughs> I can only blame you for this tragedy. We're reading a Kung Fu Panda book, specifically Master Shifu, ex-female reader. I hate this. <laughs> Sounds interesting. I mean, it does. I'm really hoping this is like like a god tier book because holy shit, I would never want to look up Kung Fu Panda fan fictions in my life in my spare time. <laughs> we have to delete my search history. I think it's just easier <laughs> to explain like that your, I didn't read this. Like your computer, it just has like a bunch of normal search history, like for your job and like googling stuff, and then like on the weekends, it pops up Wattpad shit. Yeah, and you'll be like, oh, I, I, I'm holding it for a friend. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this is, uh, we're being shipped with the, is he technically a, a red panda? Or what is Master Shifu? What kind of Oh uh, yeah, maybe he's the red panda. Yeah. Uh, according to the, our lore, or according to the, uh, the description, you are Master YN of Jade Palace. Alongside Master Shifu, you learn Kung Fu, master it, and have helped train the Furious Five alongside Tai Lung. I do not own any franchise I write about. <laughs> no, this is the owner of Kung Fu Panda. Oh my god, I can't believe I just don't want you to know it. Yeah, I don't even know who wrote it. I just know Jack Black played, plays Poe. <laughs> yeah. That's I all I know. That. Oh, this is our OC? Is it? Wait, hold on. This picture that's up here. This is gorgeous. This is fantastic. I don't know if it is isn't us. That, isn't that Tigris? And, um... Oh, I forgot his name. Who's a villain? Oh, I know which villain you're talking about. It's like in the second one. Kai no, no, Lung? No, the second one, third one. Yeah. No, this is the villain in the first one, right? No, the first one was that, like, weird-looking tiger. Yeah, isn't that him? No. No? <laughs> that's, that's a bird. <laughs> Oh, wait, we're on a... Sorry, I was on the uh, first chapter. Oh, I was, well, I was gonna go through Wyan's backstory real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna speed run through this. So, instead of yeah. doing a bill name, we replace one of the letters with a W, so we're doing Will Smith this time. Will Smith. <laughs> and apparently we're a peacock. Uh, I guess this is us. We can change the, the, the colors if we need to. Or if we want to. Colors? Where... Oh. I don't know, set any colors you want on the YM part. Will Smith is slightly taller than Shifu. The top of his head comes to his to her pullage. Chest. Okay. Background. Will Smith was an orphan as a chi as a child, stealing food from produce carts. One day as she tries to get away with she was caught. Before the cart owner could hit her, a turtle came to her rescue. Master Ugwe took Will Smith in, introduced <laughs> her to his student, Shifu. Will Smith often sat to the side and watched as Shifu practice. As time grew on, Uwe allowed her to practice Kung Fu as well. Her and Shifu both became masters, and eventually they got their first two students, Tigris and Tai, tai Long. But there's a twist! <laughs> what Master Will Smith doesn't know is that one of her former students had feelings for her. She ended up getting locked- oh, he ended up getting locked away, his feelings fueling him and keeping him alive, awaiting for the day he can go home, return to his Will Smith, and finally get- and finally tell him his feelings. This mystery guy is a yandere kind of person, and hopefully you know what that is, and if not, you will later. 
<laughs> Do you know what a yandere is? <laughs> yes. Alright, I don't have to explain that damn thing. <laughs> All right. Oh, I remember this from the first movie. I remember this fucking scene. Yeah, but yeah. I gotta rewatch it. Maybe this this is my motivation to rewatch Kung Fu Panda is reading this fan fiction. Yeah, but then you're just gonna have this fanfic in your head. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually gonna be like, so where is Will Smith? <laughs> Yeah, where's Will Smith? Master Will Smith. Yeah, where's Master Will Smith, the, the peacock? <laughs> Alright, well... Oh, shit. Oh, wait, I do have coins with me. Holy shit. I just gotta open up this random drawer that I have. And open up this random jar that I have. And get this random coin that I have. Alright, do you want to be heads or tails? Uh, tails. Alright, tails you read, heads I read. Heads. I guess that means I'm reading. We should have to suffer through the first chapter. <laughs> huh. I'm skimming through this. There's a lot of dialogue. I mean, yeah. I mean, according to the like the little bar thing on the side, it shouldn't take that long to read. Uh huh. The Will little bar. Yeah. Will Smith POV. I woke up to the sound of a board squeaking outside my room. I stood up, dressed in my kimono, and opened my door. Looking both ways down the hall, I see no one. I let out a scoff as I turned back to my bed, to my bedroll, and think, guess I'm going back to bed now. I step out and close my room back up. I slowly make my way to the kitchen and get the tea out, along with some bowls. No matter they use cups or small bowls, so these are just tiny bowls. <laughs> The tea kettle begins to whistle. I take it off and I put the, some water in the bowl along, along with tea. I put the kettle back, then... Wait. I put the kettle back, then put the bowls on the tray. I pick it up and start my way to the garden, a servant on my tail. When I get there, because Will... Oh. When I get there, because Will Smith waddles. No offense, peacock movements. <laughs> What are these random author notes? I have no idea. Do 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 peacocks waddle like penguins? That is a good question. I maybe yeah, I don't know. Mm. I moved to the side, allowing the servant to open the gate and headed to the, the training hall. I opened the door to see Kung Shifu sitting on the side watching top Tai Long. I made my way to Shifu's side and lowered the tray on the ground. I took my spot next to him. He looked at me, then the tray. Thank you, he said, with a soft smile on his lips as he picked up his tea. Shifu put the bowl to his lips and looked back at Ta Tai Long, who was practicing on the fire floor. I don't know what it's called, but the part with the viper and all the thing they seem to try and haul. <laughs> How is his training coming along? I asked, picking up my own bowl. Shifu smiled, but it's a sad smile. He is powerful, but... Shifu sighs. He has become too powerful, I say, finishing his sentence. Shifu nods. I stood up, my empty bowl on the tray. That is in my hands. <laughs> he stood up as well, placing his bowl on the tray. Master Will Smith! I turned to see Tai Lung running towards me. I put the tray on the nearby shelf and hold my arms out to him. He steps a few feet away, sliding to my feet, as he curls up to me. I let out a laugh, hugging him, while I pet his head. Taiwan lets out a deep yet soft purr. Taiwan, you need to keep training. Chiku snaps. I send him a look as Tai as Tai whines, hugging me tighter. Chifu, he's just a cub. Fine, training is done for today. Will Smith, you will be his teacher for the rest of the day. Do as you wish. Shifu snaps as he snorts off, slamming the doors. I smile at Tai Long. Come, Tai Long. First, we need to wash the dishes. Tai Long stands up, just slightly taller than me. Okay. Tai Long smiles and ran to the door. I picked up the tray to get to the door. As Tai Long opens it, we walk through and towards the building, towards the kitchen. 
Then night, after some chores, boring. Silong <laughs> <laughs> and I are sitting in the garden, taking in the sunset while we eat dinner. Master Will Smith? Tai Long looks at me. Yes, Tai? I turned, putting my bowl down to look at him to see him blushing. Master, what's wrong with me? <laughs> Damn. Kid, I ask myself that every day. I'll never figure out the answer. <laughs> tai Long, <sighs> nothing's wrong with you. I stood up, looking down at him. He looks at the ground with a sad look. I sigh and hug his head to my chest. Tai Long, I'm sorry about Shifu. And I are too harsh on you. I pet his ears back. Just know that no matter what, I'll always be here for you. Years later, <laughs> third person POV. <laughs> I'm the Dragon Warrior! I deserve the scroll! Tai Long yells at Uwe and sprints on all fours towards him and Shifu. Shifu gets in defensive stance, only to get a flashback of Tai Long being young and running to him. Shifu hesitates as Tai Long runs up, knocks him away. Uguay ch takes charge and jumps to meet Tai Long in the air, only to use the paralysis move. I forgot what Kung Fu was. I was like, what the fucking paralysis move? They like just use a taser. <laughs> Stun him. <laughs> yeah. As Tai Long hits the floor, Will Smith turns the corner at a quick pace. Shifu, I can't find Ta- She stops, eyes landing on the body of Tai Long, laying limp on the steps of the sacred pool of squirrels. Tai Long! Will Smith screams as she flaps her wings, speeding to his side, and kneels next to him. As Tai Long loses consciousness, he hears the pain and screams of his master, Will Smith, feeling a twig of hurt inside. And, as he finally becomes paralyzed, he vows to come back to reveal his feeling towards her. Wow. <laughs> Damn. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> this fucking student-teacher relationship. <laughs> well, I guess it's one-sided, but... <laughs> <laughs> Will Smith cries as she holds the snow leopard's head in her lap. Her cries are ho grow hoarse as she remembers the young cub she raised with Shifu. The numerous times she had held his head in her lap as he napped. He hugged his head, crying for her boy. Shifu crawled over and let out a sad sigh as he reached for Tai Long. Will Smith looked at Shifu, her eyes tearing up as she hugged him to her. Shifu, I I'm sorry I didn't listen. She couldn't even finish her sentence since the tears erupted, her cries ringing louder. Years had passed, and Will Smith still had nightmares of the day her boy had left had to leave her tank her what how the fuck did I say it again? Tai Tai Hung. Tai Hung. <laughs> Shifu had got a new student, Tigress, then gained four more students. The whole time Will Smith kept quiet, except for Shifu. He was the only person she ever spoke to. Yet, the furious by all respect to her, then she stayed so close to Shifu as she could, always looking over his shoulder to watch them, a stern face riding her features. Hey guys, just had some background, put some extra, I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> nice. I feel like it's good, I just rewrote the, the beginning part and whatnot. Yeah, I was like, a lot of this is uh, kind of canon. Yeah, except for us, <laughs> we're not canon. <laughs> so, the Tai Lung, Tai Lung is uh, locked away, right? Yep. I mean, isn't that where the movie starts and then we get a flashback of what was going on? Yeah. Yeah. We're and then he escapes. And he's like, I'm supposed to be the fucking drag warrior, not this fucking fat ass. <laughs> you know, I actually remember his escape scene now. That was actually kind of cool. Yeah. Like he, he, like, escapes from a feather. Yeah. It was a good one, man. The, uh, DreamWork was on some shit back in the day. <laughs> Alright, next chapter. Yeah, the ceremony. Uh, the ceremony. Uh, hello my fellow people, I'm sorry that I don't update as much or on this on my other books if you read them. I thought. Maybe this guy writes other Kung Fu Pandas. Oh my gosh, we check after this. Oh my, wow, this is very diverse. Wait it's like My Hero, Detective <laughs> Pikachu, 
Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> Not to take the Pikachu, man. What the fuck? That is doing a lot of diverse fanfics. Yeah, I mean, he's got a passion, dude. Alright. I sit on the porch, eating, listening to Shifu play the flute. I open my eyes to see the students come at him all at once. Shifu easily moves, evading and attacking until finally they all become out of breath. Well done, students. They all put their hands together and bow in respect. If you were trying to disappoint me, figures, you need more ferocity. Monkey, greater speed, brain, height, viper, subtly, uh, s subtlety, mantis, dot dot, master Shifu, what? She points to Zhang. Who's Zhang? I don't know. Maybe some poor, like, uh, servant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it's Master Ukwe. He wants to see you. And Master Will Smith. Shifu looks to me, then runs out of the training grounds. I stand up, spread my wings, and take off after him. We make it to the Hall of Heroes as Shifu stops collecting himself. I land behind him. Master Ugwe, you, you summoned us? Shifu and I put our hands together and bow. Is something wrong, I ask, as Shifu raises his head. Ugwe does his cool stick thingy. <laughs> Why must someone be wrong for me to want to see my old friends? Ugwe says, looking. I gotta do like the wise Ugwe voice. Like, why must something be wrong for me to want to see my old friends? You're doing great, buddy. Keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> I actually forgot how his voice sounds like. Uh, Uwe says, looking at us as he walks. So, nothing's wrong? Chihu asked as I look up to Uwe. Well, I didn't say that. Chihu and I give one another a nervous glance, then return our gaze back to our master. Master Ugwe walks to his meditation candles, slowly blowing one after another out. I let out a quiet huff, then Shifu becomes an airbender for a moment. The Avatar reference in here. Yeah. Oh my god, crossover! <laughs> <laughs> you were saying? Shifu asked, nonchalantly. I've had a vision. Ugwe turns to us. Tai Lung will return. I remember Tai Lung, his limp body only a few feet from where I stand years ago. I come back to my senses with a small, a small cry and turn to Shifu, a look of worry on my face. Then I rest my head in my wings to quietly cry. Shifu wraps an arm around my back and look, looks to Uwe. The, that is impossible. He's in prison. Nothing is impossible. That sounds like something Uwe would say. Uwe says, then I raise my head. Zeng, I call, turning to the goose. But Shifu beats me to it. Fly to Chor Gom Prison and tell them to double the guards, double the weapons, double. This is literally like the script from yeah. uh, Kong Yeah, basically. They just put our <laughs> self insert in there. <laughs> tell them to double the guards, double the weapons, double everything. Tai Lung does not leave that prison. Zeng flies off of a, yes, Master Shifu, then hits a pillar. <laughs> he, he even got the hitting the pillar part. I Wait, actually that's what happens to the movie? <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna I'm have getting to watch this movie now. again. One often meets their destiny on the road that they, on the road they take to avoid it. Shifu and I turn to Uwe. We have to do something. We can't just let him march on the valley. Shifu starts. And take his revenge, I call out. He'll... he'll... Shifu goes to continue, only to be stopped by Uwe. Your minds are like this water, my friends. When it is agitated, it becomes difficult to see. But if you allow it to settle, the answer becomes clear. Shifu and I look to the reflection in the pool, and look up at the dragon scroll. The dragon scroll, Shifu says, almost in awe. It is time. But who? Who is worried to be trusted with the secret to limitless power? To become the dragon warrior? <laughs> this is the same dialogue, too. I asked my former master. I don't know. 
Oh wait, no, no, no. He says, "I don't know." Shifu and I both give Uwe a look like, "What the kung fu?" <laughs> Insert laugh track. That's me on the laugh track. <laughs> All right, laugh track. <laughs> now I gotta do it in real time. I don't know. Shifu and I both give Uwe a look like, "What the kung fu?" <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. I Excellent know. pun. She who ordered the palace servants to go put up posters informing the citizens that the dragon warrior shall be chosen. The valley people start arriving, getting seats, celebrating of all sorts. As Shifu was inside, giving the Furious Five a boost of confidence. I walked down the steps of the Hall of Heroes, taking in the sight of all the people, families, a pain shoots through my heart as I remember that this celebration is to protect the valley from my boy, my son. <laughs> I take a deep breath in, reclaiming my posture as I wait for Shifu. Uh, time skip. <laughs> I'm reading this. Time skippy because I'm a peacock. You gotta let me fly. <laughs> sure, buddy. Yeah. It is a historic day, isn't it, Master Uwe? Chifu asks, kind of happy, as I stand by his side, quiet as always when I'm around people, besides Uwe and Chifu. Yes, but one I feared I would not live to see, Master Uwe answers, calm as ever. Are your students ready? Chifu answers. Uh, yes, Master Uwe. Now, know this, old friends. Uwe bends down to her level. Whomever I will choose will not only bring peace to the valley, but also to you. Uwe says this and walks away. Let the tournament begin! A pig seventh calls out, then hits a gong. Everyone cheers as the gates to the palace close, the drummers beating loud. Citizens of the Valley of Peace, it is our great honor to present to you Tigris, Viper, Crane, Monkey, Mantis, the Furious Five. Chifu announces as his students fall from the sky with grace, landing and striking a few poses. Crane finishes with a gust of wind. Warriors prepare, ready for battle. Crane gets into a stance as a thousand, uh, as the thousand tongues of fire are lit. Crane raises into the sky as they begin to fly at him. He dodges all of them until they all come to meet him. He dives, having all of them hit one another. The crowd cheers. Chifu gives a proud smirk as I calmly clap my wings together. The five take their respectable turns until Tigris. And finally, Master Tigris, believe me, citizens, you haven't seen anything yet. Master Tigris faces Iron Ox and his Blades of Death. Tigris assumes her stance, then I see a panda, I believe, fly in an arch and hit the entrance to the palace's roof. I flinched, feeling bad for the being. <laughs> Uwe stops the ceremony, everyone turning to him. I sense the dragon warrior is among us. Shifu turns to his students and nods. They all look startled and get into formation. Citizens of the Valley of Peace, Master Uwe will now choose the Dragon Warrior. Shifu calls out, and Uwe makes his way calmly down the stairs. I listen to the silence. A faint, ooh, makes it to my ears as I look around subtly, seeing no one moving their mouth. It slowly dies down as I pit, I turn my attention back to Shifu's students. I hear explosions and fireworks and turn my, gazes, and turn my gaze to the gates. Then with a blast of color and in a cry, it shoots into the sky. Oh, bars. The citizens all ooh and ah. The thing finally calms down and falls, landing in front of Master Uwe. The panda finally comes to and looks around, having the five and Uwe in his face. Well, Uwe pointing at him. <laughs> this is literally Kung Fu Panda 1, with an insert. Yay, I love those. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, okay, sorry. I just wanted to see who the dragon warrior was. 
Uwe says something too quiet to hear. Tigger steps forward and seems to ask Uwe a question. The panda moves left and right, Uwe's finger following him. <laughs> the universe has brought us the Dragon Warrior, Uwe announces, holding the panda's arm up with his staff. What? Shifu and I yell in unison. Then the servant hits the gong. Shifu steals the pig's hammer and threatens to hit him. Ears back. <laughs> I grab him and hug him to me and whisper in his ear. Shifu, he's- Okay, there it is. There it is. There's the stuff that doesn't happen in the movie. Yay! We actually get stuff that is originally written! <laughs> Shifu, easy. I take the hammer, handing it back to the frightened pig, and let Shifu go, my hand still on his back, keeping him calm as confetti falls and the carriage comes back- comes down to collect the dragon warrior. Stop! Wait! Who told you to- Shifu cuts himself off to run down the stairs and to Uguay's side as the panda gets lifted in the carriage. Shifu seems to share some words with Uguay, pointing to Tigris. Then the panda's rear falls through the, through the carrier. I wave for some pig servants to come help the geese with the dragon warrior. The furious five go to Shifu, bowing, then he tells them something as the warrior is taken up the steps to the Hall of Heroes. Time skip to after we see Zhang at prison. Damn, what if I, what if I wanted to see him escape again? <laughs> yeah, I wanna, I wanna, <laughs> I wanna see the exact, uh, scenario written in words. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. This, this <laughs> is a story after all, I need the plot! <laughs> the doors open. And the panda is brought inside. The servants drop him off, then leave. I think there's been a slight mistake. Uh, everyone seems to think that I'm a... The panda turns and gawks out the room. The sacred hall of heroes. <laughs> no way! Look at the place! He starts to go around pointing out things and calling out what they are. He then stops at the urn of whispering warriors. He whispers the facts, then proceeds to talk to it as Shifu and I make our way to the side of the sacred pool of scrolls. Have you finished sightseeing? I turn to see Shifu asking the panda with his back to us. Our, parent, our patience is wearing thin. Shifu starts to look grouchy. I rub his back, then return my wings to my sleeve. Do turn around. The panda turns around to answer with a, Hey, how's it going? then returns to the urn, then realizes we are standing there as he knocks the urn down. Oh, Master Shifu, Master Will Smith, someone broke that, but I'm gonna fix it, I'll do you, I'll, do you have some glue? He begins to sweep up the pieces as Shifu and I give him a look of unamusement. Then the stand for the urn falls, hitting him. So you're the legendary dragon warrior then, hmm? Uh, I guess so. Wrong. You are not the Dragon Warrior. You will never be the Dragon Warrior. Until you have learned the secret of the Dragon's Scroll. Shifu points to the scroll as I just glare at the panda. Oh, so, um, how does this work? Do you have a ladder, a trampoline, or... I chuckle, cutting off the panda as Shifu answers him. You think it's that easy? that I'm just going to hand you the secret to limitless power? The panda looks scared. No, I... One must first master the highest level of Kung Fu, and that is clearly impossible. If that someone is someone like you. Someone like me? Oh, I lost my spot. <laughs> There's so much dialogue. Oh, I see it. <laughs> yes, look at you. This fat, flabby arms, that, and this ridiculous belly. Shifu pokes him, making him back up into the urn pieces. Hey, an utter disregard for personal hygiene. Now wait a minute, that's a little uncalled for. The panda puts his finger in Shifu's face. Don't stand that close, I can smell your breath. The panda points at Shifu, talking about Uwe, and Shifu puts him into the wuxi finger hold. Oh my god, the wuxi finger hold. Oh my god, I remember that one. <laughs> oh my god, Alter even wrote the exact dialogue. Damn. <gasps> the wooshy finger hold? Not the wooshy finger hold. Ah, 
You know this hole. Developed by Master Wushi in the Third Dynasty, yes. Oh, and you must know what happens when I flex my pinky. You know the hardest part of this? The hardest part is cleaning up afterwards. Shifu chuckles, and I let out a quiet giggle that causes Shifu's ear to perk in my direction. Shit, he heard me laugh. Oh, okay, okay, take it easy. Now listen closely, Panda. Uwe may have picked you, but when I'm through with you, I promise you're going to wish he hadn't. Are we clear? Oh yeah, we're clear. We're so clear. Good. Shifu chuckles. I can't wait to get started. Uh, we make our way to the training hall and walk inside. The five are practicing, or more likely taking their anger and disappointment out as training. Tigris breaks a wooden target and a chunk hits the panda. Let's begin, Shifu says, and I just smirk and walk to the side and sit in my seat near the child's dummy. I watch as Shifu and the panda exchange some words, then the panda runs to the dummy pointing. How about that? That? We use it to train we use it to train children and prop the door open when it's hot. The panda's jaw drops as the five comes closer. Oh, the furious five. You're so much bigger than your action figures. Except for you, Mantis, you're about the same. Man, don't bully Mantis. Go ahead, Panda. Show us what you can do. Um, are they going to watch, or should I just wait until they head back to work or something? Chiku glares at him. Did it. Okay, yeah, I mean, I just ate, so um, I'm still digesting, so my kung fu might not be as good as later on. Just hit it, Chiku says. And I go to his side, ready to grab him if need be. Alright, what you got? You got nothing. Cause I got it right here. You picking all my friends? Get ready to feel the thunder. Coming out with the crazy feet. What's gonna do about the crazy <laughs> Does this fucking happen in the movie? Yes. I think it's the exact time. I gotta fucking rewatch Kung Fu Panda, man. <laughs> the only reason I remember is because he starts talking about crazy feet. I'm like, oh yeah, he says crazy feet, doesn't he? <laughs> I'm learning so much. Oh, my. <laughs> Get ready to feel the thunder Coming out with the crazy feet What you gonna do about the crazy feet? Alright, come on I'm a blur I'm a blur You never seen bear style You only seen praying mantis or monkey style Monkey noises <laughs> 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 Or maybe snakeity snake Would you hit it? Chifu snaps And I put my wing on his back all right, all right. The panda taps it and looks to us. Why don't you try again? A little harder, Shifu says, trying to stay calm. The panda throws a punch, and the dummy flies backward. How's that? Then it comes back to fling him into the training pit. He bounces back and forth in the training equipment. The five go to help him, and Shifu raises his hand, stopping them. He then flies to the turtle shell and bangs around, goes through the spiked turnstiles, stops moving to hold himself, and turns away disgusted. Uh, there are women present, I think angrily, and he finally made it to the fire floor. He makes his way to us, dragging himself uh, on the ground, all beaten and bruised. Chifu looks at him, then puts a flame on his uh, on his fur out. On his fur out? What is a fur out? Well, his fur is on fire, so you put it out. Oh, puts yeah. a flame on his fur, like, face out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> How did I do? The panda says out of breath. There is now a level zero. Damn, imagine sucking so much that they they have a new thing for just because of you. <laughs> it's like when you defy like a rule so much that they make a rule just because you exist. Yeah. What is this called? A fight? Are we gonna fight Shinfu? Oh my god. I said update early, but this chapter will need a 
<laughs> At least three votes. Like, whatever. How many votes does this thing have? It has 243. Yeah, it's probably at least three. Yeah. Yeah, I th that's gotta be at least four, you know? Yeah, maybe, maybe five even. If yeah. I might be so bold. Yeah, oh, excuse me. So scary. <laughs> I'm walking with Shinfu through the, the barracks. Yeah, barracks halls. Silently listening to his rant. I turn to see the students walking up the steps. They seem to be discussing something as they slow down. And Crane flaps his wings. Tigress then takes the lead as the rest follow. A few moments later, the panda steps out of his hiding place. About ten minutes later. I walk past the, the hall to the students' rooms to see the panda stuck in a hole. I quietly watch as he brushes the wood. Brushes the wood. Fuck. As he brushes the boards back into place, then hurriedly hurries and ends up falling into one of the rooms. I hear a short conversation. Then the panda is back at the, in the hall. He continues down the hall until Tigress opens her door. Master Tigress, I didn't mean to wake you. Just, um, you don't belong here. Slams the door. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, of course. This is your room. I mean, you don't belong in the Jade Palace. You're a disgrace to Kung Fu. <laughs> oof. Oof, that big oof. And if you have any respect for who we are and what we do, you will be gone by morning. Tigress inhales, trying to continue. And sees me in the corner of her eye, then stops, angrily shut, shutting the door. The panda stands there for a few seconds and lets out a small, big fan. <laughs> With that, the, the panda starts down the hall, opposite of me. I walk to my room and sit on the floor, unable to sleep. I meditate a little before heading to bed. What the? What, what thing that keeps fucking me up? What's with the random commas? <laughs> It's throwing off my, my, the flow for me reading oh, this yeah. shit. No idea. Morning! Okay, Shifu and I stand at the end of the hall as the morning gong rings loud. Good morning, masters. They sing in uni unison, standing at their doors. Everyone except the panda. Panda? Panda! Shifu goes to his room and shoves the door open. Wake up! Then Shifu chuckles as I make my way down the hall to see the empty room. He quit. He starts back up the hall, me behind him, and the students in, in the file behind me. All is silent until we reach the training grounds, and Viper asks a question we all want to know. What do we do now, masters? With the Pandagon, who will be the Dragon Warrior? Shifu answers with a... All we do is... Resume our training, and trust that in time the true dragon warrior will reveal. The doors open to see the panda trying to do the splits on rods of bamboo. What are you doing here? Shufu snaps, and the panda turns to us. Oh, hi! Uh, good morning, master. The panda continues, connects his hands in a half-done bow. I thought I'd warm up a little. He stretches his arms, not even over his head, trying to touch his feet, and lets that noise of struggle. You're stuck. Stuck? What's stuck? He laughs. Now, this is one of my... Yeah, I'm stuck. <laughs> Help him, Tifu... Shifu says. Crane, not even looking at him. Oh Ooh. god, I already know what happens. If what it's... Ha <laughs> it's just, they're just gonna struggle to get him out. Oh god. Or at least Crane is. Oh dear. Crane walks over, grabs the panda's waistband, and starts to flap his wings. Okay, maybe on three? One, two... Crane flaps harder, ending up with the panda on the ground. Uh, thank you. Don't mention it. No, really, I appreciate... ever. <laughs> <laughs> Crane tells him in a cold tone, walking away. You actually thought you can learn to do a full split in one night? Shifu asks, ending, ending by throwing tiles into the sky. It takes years to develop one's flexibility, Tigress crouches. Then Shifu s snaps, having her jump into the air. And years 
and years longer to apply it into combat. Tigris does a split that breaks both simultaneously. All the pieces fall down onto the panda, and with, big, with a big chunk hitting him on the head, he picks it up trying to sneakily put it, put it behind his back. Wait, what's the big deal with him taking it? <laughs> it's just a tile, right? <laughs> yeah. So why, why is the next line of him yelling at him telling him to put that down? <laughs> I have no idea. What the happens in the movie? <laughs> I need to watch this shit again. <laughs> Put that down, Shifu snaps, ears folded back. I internally fangirl at this gesture. Us? <laughs> like, I can't tell if this is the author or the, our self insert. <laughs> oh, he must have wanted to keep it or something because he would say, like, oh shoot, Tigress broke these tiles. Oh, these that's are right. broken tile dust. The only souvenirs we collect here are broken knuckles and broken bones. Yeah. The panda puts his hands together. Excellent. Let's get started. Shifu snaps his fingers, and we all walk to the field. The panda and Viper get into stance. Are you ready? I was born ready. Viper sm smacks the panda. Flipping him around and ending with him on the ground upside down. I'm sorry, brother. I thought you said you were ready. That was awesome. Let's go again. And he's like, at, like <laughs> he's got like a punctured rib. <laughs> <laughs> Panda puts his hands together. Shifu slightly growls, and I look at him surprised. Shifu snaps, and Monkey uh, moves to place, grabbing bamboo and handing one to the panda. Monkey attacks, hitting the opponent's stomach, head, and his weapon. The panda just acts like he, just like, just acts like he did. Next is Crane. He looks at the panda, who makes a noise, then bounces around the turtle shell. Shifu snaps, signaling for Mantis's turn. They head back out as I stand on the porch of the practice building. The panda gets flipped around, upside down, sideways, and back and forth before hitting the ground. Mantis jumping away. The panda hits the ground and entirely puts his hands together. You've been taking it easy. Oh. We've been taking it easy on you, panda, but no more. Your next opponent will be Master Will Smith. I know, big changes. No, 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 but yeah. <laughs> Alright, yeah, let, let's go! The panda says eagerly as the students give surprising glances. As I calmly walk down the steps, wings in my sleeves as he gets up. I walk across from him as I look at him, obviously frustrated that, that this mistake is the dragon warrior, the one to stop my boy. Step forward, panda. I coldly, I say coldly. The students give a shocked look at the fact that I spoke. The panda does step forward and I grab his foot, flipping him on his back. I hear Shifu saying something and the panda replying, but I'm too focused to hear. I then flip him on his sides, ending by flipping him up into the air, flying up and kicking him onto the training grounds. Okay, that's pretty badass. Also, can peacocks fly? <laughs> uh, I don't know if they can, like, fly fly, but maybe they can just, like, fly briefly. Maybe. I don't know, what questions to ask during a kung fu panda fan fiction? I land as he starts to bounce down the stairs. Shifu comes to my side as the students go to the gate. I turn my back and walk to the barracks. Will Smith, are, are you alright? Shifu asks, catching, catching up to me. Where did that come from? That power? The energy? I speed up a little at Shifu's question. My eyes finally land on the barracks. Shifu speeds up and gets into the doorway between me and the in the building my room is housed in. Will Smith! He puts his hand on my on the side, trying to block me. What is wrong with you? I stop in front of Shifu, my eyes angled at the steps. He calls my name again. This time, it is soft, caring, and yet stern. Shifu, do, do you think that we could have somehow stopped his path? I slowly look at Shifu, tears brimming my eyelids. 
Shifu, our boy, our son, we raised him! I cried out as I fall to my knees crying as I hatch myself into Shifu's smaller form. Shifu's point of view. <laughs> Will Smith clenched onto my robes, sobbing. I awkwardly- I can only imagine Will Smith now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm imagining him playing the genie right now. <laughs> I awkwardly reached my hand to- reached my hand to her. I set my hand on her head, and she flinches. Will Smith, I'm sorry, I hesitate. I'm sure what to say. She looked up at me. I, her normally caring, uh, I don't know, what color is Will Smith's eyes? Brown? Probably brown. Yeah. Gleam with unfallen tears. Her courageous spirit broken as he shakes. Back to Will Smith. <laughs> she fills my head by the chin. I look into his eyes, caring and protective. I slowly stand up, Shifu helping me. Shifu raises his hand and wipes a lone tear from my cheek. Shifu, I... Will Smith, I need to... We start at the same time, we both sigh and then laugh a little. I hug Shifu and he slowly wraps his arms around my waist. Thank you, Shifu. I quietly whisper to him. His grip tightens. Anything for you. Okay, that just randomly got faster all of a sudden. Yeah. <laughs> it was like two and a half chapters of regular Kung Fu Panda lore, and then half Wait. a page of a reader. I mean, they did know each other for like how many years? They know each other since like Tai Long was a was a student there, a very young. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how many. It's like probably like at least ten. Yeah, how how fast do tigers grow up? <laughs> Cause just do times two of that because tigers is not an adult because they got like her as a little baby as well. All right, last chapter for this. Goodbye, master. Wait, is this where like Uwe fucking disintegrates? <laughs> um. I remember that happening in the movie. It was funny. <laughs> Oh, wait. Oh, wait, this is like when he freaking. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, like he goes to the chief who's like, my time is come, and he gives him a stick. He's like, whoa, 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 what are you doing? <laughs> oh, yeah, like, my time has come. Yeah, and he just fucking fades into the cherry blossoms. <laughs> um. Goodbye, master. Oh, wait, it's already seven. Is it? Alright, well, I guess we'll. Call it there then. <laughs> yeah, Next we time on Dragon Ball Z, we'll read more, more, more uh, thingy. Well, I guess if the wheel lets us, we'll read it. <laughs> Watch it land again. Yeah, and we're like, no! <laughs> I just want to read more Harvey. Is that too much to ask, dog? Yes. I can only read Harvey if it lands on Harvey or if it's my choice, then I get free will. <laughs> But, uh, this was a good book. A discontinued was, book, but it's good. It was, it was alright. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it was just, like, explaining the first half of Kung Fu Panda. Yeah, basically. And then in the end, they just, like, did the reader stuff. Well, I'm gonna, like, watch Kung Fu Panda again and be like, alright, so this is where we stop from the fan fiction. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, oh yeah, I can see our self-insert in the background, just some random peacock. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, alright, well, I guess that does it for this reading. But it's time to do one last thing, which is spin a wheel. <laughs> to see how fucked we are the next time we have to do this. <laughs> alright. <laughs> Can't believe we- Do you really want Tangled on here? <laughs> Obsidian X Cobblestone. Alright. Let's see. It's landing on obsidian. No. Oh. No, it's <laughs> oh, jeez. Wait, let's uh, let's spin again. You don't want to write your own fan fiction? <laughs> Thanks so much effort. <laughs> All right, fine. We'll remove it as an option. There we go. So picky. 
Or maybe we'll do it like some other time. I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> no way. No, you gotta spin it again. <laughs> no, we have to, dog. No oh, what? We do this to ourselves. All right, let's go back to the writing your own. <laughs> no, no, dog. It's too much effort. <laughs> oh man. It's time to. I, I don't know. I guess try to fix him. <laughs> <laughs> We already read a fanfiction, so we just gotta go where we were before, which I forgot where we were in that one. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, it's gonna be so much fun. I don't want to read this, <laughs> but we have to. Oh boy. Yeah. Can we do something normal, like a different Stardew Valley character? <laughs> or One Piece? Yeah, like... Wanda X Cosmo or something? Oh god damn it, not that. If we have to update the wheel, you'd be like, alright, so I want all these crack ships and then I'm gonna complain when we land on them. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. I mean we can add a fucking Wanda X Cosmo. Oh that was just the tip of the iceberg. I'm if we're gonna add something, I'll add like something super cringy. Yeah, you're, I'll be like, all right, can you send me a list of like potential ships to put in here, and then you send me like a word document of just like our childhood. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm why literally just gonna put like inanimate objects at this point, like water x cup or like mouse x mouse pad. Dude, that reminds me of something that I saw. It was like this cursed, like reading list. And it had like chair X reader, like we were shipped with a chair. <laughs> oh god, was the chair dialoguing? I have no idea, I never clicked on it. Me and Jolene <laughs> found like a cursed thing where we were like with like crack ships and some of them were just inanimate objects. <laughs> One there was like a piece oh, of god. cheese. <laughs> <laughs> or like a piece of bread, like a loaf. <laughs> Loaf of bread. I don't know, if we do a fan, like, if we if we write fan fiction ever, we could just do inanimate objects. Okay. I don't know, floor, X, ceiling, star-crossed lovers, never meant to be together. Yeah, so, exactly, Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, well, thanks for joining me at this dumpster. I'm glad I get to... Rewatch Kung Fu Panda now. I'm gonna watch it in the server later. Yes. I need to go rewatch that movie. Yeah, I'll, I'll put it in the server at some point as movie night if you just wanna hop in and watch Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what platform I'd be on, but I'll find it. But also check out the playlist for other Wattpad readings. There's some good people on there. I think. I don't know. <laughs> in a while. <laughs> mm. Alright, well, my name is Phoenix, that was Minho, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!